Welcome to Money and Finance on K24 this morning with me, Shiko Kaitani, sitting in for Paul Ngalambuvi, Asante Sana, for all the, of course, uh, greetings, the salams that we are receiving through our social media platforms, and of course, uh, your feedback in regards to our programming right here on K24. Remember, you can still continue to engage us at K24 TV is our, ha our hashtag, rather, or at least our handle on all social media platforms. Speaking about that hashtag, it's K24 this morning, actually, on Twitter keep talking to us as we begin our discussion today on generating a passive income now you may be asking what is passive income dave ramsey.com actually describes it as money you earn in a way that requires little to no daily effort to maintain I like how my producer also put it. It's simply money that you make in your sleep. Mm, sounds nice, yes. <laughs> but if you're actually having a challenge uh, figuring out how to start, my guests today are going to be giving us some smart passive income ideas that you can pick up in 2021. I'm talking about the founder of Lima Vest Limited. She is Shiko Aweru. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. We also do have the CEO of Cliff and Company CPAs, Wycliffe Bishanga, Busana. Thank you, Shika. And um, just to do a background check on what Lima Vest is all about and Cliff and Company CPAs is all about, allow me to start off with you, Cliff, uh, in regards to what your company is all about and, of course, your objective. So Cliff and Company is an audit firm. We are based uh, here in Nairobi at Current Shopping Center. Mm -hmm. But then we serve the whole country. Yeah. So basically we do audit services, we do tax advisory, right. and specialist finance advisory. Mm -hmm. So our objective is to help businesses in Kenya because we are at an era where people make decisions based on information. Mm -hmm. So we want to help businesses get right. to the next level mm -hmm. with information. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what's Limavest all about, Chico? Uh, with Limavest, we are in agribusiness. Mm -hmm. We create an uh, investment opportunity mm -hmm. for our client to, uh, to empower them uh, financially. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that being said, remember we do have a question of the day for you, dear viewer, and let's share that with you so that you can start talking to us. We ask, have you ever thought of investing in a type of business that will generate you profit effort effortlessly, rather? Have you ever thought of investing in a type of business that will generate you profit effortlessly? All right. Uh, you can see, of course, those handles right there. I uh, will be looking out for you in just a moment. But Wycliffe, let me start off with you in regards to what you would consider as passive income. It's so, still a kind of gray area. When someone tells you very minimum effort to maintain or to start up, someone says, but how? You have to work. <laughs> That is true. Right. The truth is that you have to work, but I think the idea is that um, you work very hard, probably at the start, mm -hmm. then uh, going forward you get regular income with little or no effort. Mm -hmm. So what this means in a nutshell is that uh, you make plans. Right. You make plans, mm -hmm. you put in time or even money at times, so that at the end of the day you have... Um, you have an income that you do not have to wake up mm -hmm. to go do it. Right. So the whole idea is that uh, if today you are not able to work, mm -hmm. are you still able to earn? Are you still able to eat? Yes. And that is the whole idea. And I think this coming, coming in, this discussion coming in after having corona last mm. year, because people realized that um, even the sectors that were thought to be very safe, Yeah. You know, I remember the longest time we kept on saying that uh, if I have an hotel, mm -hmm. I'm safe because people will forever eat. Yeah. But then we realized that hotels were the first ones that were closed. Right. Now, if you are relying on this sector, mm -hmm. then you realize that you become, uh, you become hungry because mm -hmm. you do not have anything to eat. Mm -hmm. And that's why we are saying it is very important for you to have an income mm -hmm. that can always come in. Right even when you are not able to work for okay. whatever reason. Okay. Yeah. And um, this then, w to a lot of people, would simply mean a side hustle. Yes. If you think about it, Chico, is yeah. that what we are talking about? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so for uh, the passive income will help when, as you said, mm -hmm. uh, will give you that extra in case you, even, even if it case you lose your job. Mm -hmm. And for Lima versus what we do, at uh, whatever whatever you're doing, at whatever yeah. you're doing, you can invest with us and get that extra income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
without mm -hmm. having to do anything. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's a very interesting business model that I'd like to hear a little bit more about, yeah. um, you know, but when, when we get to that. Uh, but Wycliffe, also getting back to you in terms of ideas for someone who's watching on where to begin. How do I know what would work and what doesn't and what has potential? Uh, first, like any business idea, we still encourage people to do their due diligence yeah. to actually seek advice where they do not know. Mm -hmm. Because it's easy to say that, oh, this is passive income, mm -hmm. I will get it with little effort. Right. So everyone will be willing to jump into that because we've been told it's little effort. Mm. Little. However, the truth of the matter is that, like any business, idea you really have to do some work to investigate mm. and be sure mm -hmm. that this is going to work for you yeah what may work for me may not work for you mm -hmm. so it's very important to do this there are ideas in various sectors uh, that you are able to adopt and again we repeat that it may not work for everyone right it also goes back to what we keep on saying that it is important for you to do stuff that you really understand. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're going to blame everyone else who advised you that have yes. some passive income. Right. Mm. However, I must say that uh, it is important uh, that everyone, every one of us has some passive income. Mm -hmm. I like what uh, Warren Buffett said uh, uh, sometimes back that... Uh, if you have not find, found a way to make money when you are sleeping, mm -hmm. then you will die working. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. That's a powerful statement. It is powerful. <laughs> I like it. It is my motivation to do some of the things that mm -hmm. I do. And uh, it is actually true that yeah. if you have to wake up every day for you to put uh, food on the table, mm -hmm. then you have no option. Because you are, you are a slave to the, to the work pre that you're doing. Pre precisely. Right. Precisely. Uh, uh, how did, for you, um, Shiko yeah. Lima Vest start off as something you were doing on the side and then now progress to what you're actually doing every mm -hmm. single day? Uh, it all started when I was a, uh, I was a stay home mo mom for yeah. almost... Uh, 10 years mm -hmm. and it's during that time I wanted also I, I wanted to take time with my family raise my child mm -hmm. but also, also wanted something on the side yeah I wanted to also to contribute something on the table mm -hmm. and that's when I when I came up with the idea of Lima Vest I thought I thought about any other mom like me mm -hmm. I thought about any person working on their on their uh, on their field and will want to earn an, an extra income mm -hmm. yeah that's how Lima Vest came about mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and um, in regard to the input that in terms of you know the sweat capital that yeah. you invested yeah. um, could you give us a couple of tips on the kind of dedication it takes to set up something uh, before you actually say okay fine you know what it's mm. bringing me that income that I had expected it to uh, okay for me the reason I decided to do agribusiness mm -hmm. uh, I have I had tried I had mm -hmm. also tried on my own, yeah. which I failed and I learned a lot of lessons. Mm -hmm. And I realized with this field, it really, really needs a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. And I know most of people don't have that time. Mm -hmm. And that's why I took the responsibility of doing it for, for people. Mm -hmm. Like I, I took the uh, full management of the farm yeah. for you as my client mm -hmm. so that you can be empowered mm -hmm. financially. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at text messages that are already starting to stream in. And uh, if you have any questions, obviously, for Shiko and Wycliffe, of course, on how to nav navigate um, this idea of generating a passive income, keep talking to us. Someone says, hi, kindly, Shiko, um, Lima Vest, if I already have a land in Malindi, can they plant pineapples for me? If yes, what's the cost? Uh, and that comes in from Polly. Okay. Um, uh, put a pin on that one. I'll, I'll give you ch a chance to, of course, uh, respond to that. Yeah. Someone says, good morning, Shiko. You guys have a wonderful topic today. I really have thought of how to earn from a side hustle. Question is, how can I earn income as a full-time campus student in a passive manner? Because it's very hard to figure out what to do right now. Yeah. And I think quickly, if that really is the challenge for most people, it's how do I figure it out? And you said it slightly you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, that whatever you have to do your own due diligence uh, and research yeah. is the key word here, isn't it? Yeah. Research. yeah. Okay, research. so why don't you respond to our campus student? Uh, good. So the truth of the matter is that uh, the options that are out there, mm -hmm. 
again, it is what do you really like doing? Mm. For instance, if I'm a campus student, and uh, depending on how much time I have, and uh, how much resources I have as well. So a campus student, we may not tell this student to go have rentals mm -hmm. somewhere because mm -hmm. they may not have the money to do it. Yeah. Mm. But they can actually do whatever they know. Maybe they know how to cook very well. Mm -hmm. They could do a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, that will give them a chance to, one, educate the public, mm -hmm. tell people what they are able to do out yeah. there. But also, they are going to gain subscribers. Yeah to their channel and then from that they are able to earn mm -hmm. an income. They could do an e-book for right. instance and uh, uh, people have now realized that it's actually possible to spend time do, uh, for example if you're doing an e-book you will spend substantial time to actually do the book. Yeah. But then once you've done the book, mm -hmm. the book goes out there, mm -hmm. you will be busy studying you and probably she's, uh, let's say, uh, a second year. By the time she's in fourth year, she will still be earning. And mm -hmm. even after she leaves campus, right. she's still earning on an effort that she put in. And I think that's some brilliant news because even for you as a campus student, you can now think way beyond just opening up a cyber cafe because that, back in my day, that was the that in was thing. The Everybody was scrambling I to know. open something like that. But today they have options. Yeah. Yeah. Um, agriculture seems to be a very lucrative sector. Yeah. Uh, and so you can already see the questions that are streaming in. People yeah. very interested in how do I take this to the next level yeah. in terms of agriculture. What can you tell Polly who's in Malindi? Uh, for Paul, who is in Malindi, mm -hmm. uh, right now we are focusing on what we have, mm -hmm. like uh, managing our own. Okay. Because if I, I start managing for others, I'll be diverting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for right now we are managing for our own client. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And for that, uh, 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 for that stu uh, student, yeah. that campus student, I would like to encourage them that we have uh, we have a product even for uh, young people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like uh, one of our product is bee beekeeping. Yeah, and you can invest with only thirteen thousand nine hundred and fifty. That is for one hive. Mm -hmm. So you can start with that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's there's something for everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um. Why then would you um encourage more and more young people mm -hmm. to be joining agriculture if perhaps they are not able to come up with the capital? Mm -hmm. You know. Well, yeah. How would you help someone who's thinking, okay, that thirteen thousand, sign day to our You know. Yeah. You can you can save from your pocket money. Mm. You can ask from relatives. Yeah. Is take, there a facility, though, that you can help to assist someone gain the capital? Uh, mm. Like what? Sorry? Like, for example, how would you be able to assist someone if they were to get in touch with Limavest mm. uh, and say, okay, I don't have the money. Is there a way you can help me get that capital? Uh, I'll, I'll encourage them to save Kidogo because mm -hmm. I think that with 13,000, you can start with one hive. Yes. And then you grow to many more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. What would you describe as major challenges, um, Weekly, from your opinion as to, you know, these roadblocks that people face when they are trying to set up this concept or business that is going to provide this passive income? Um, I think the biggest challenge is the fact that even if we are calling it passive income, mm -hmm. usually it doesn't start off passively yes mm. i mean you've got to put in a lot of effort initially for example what uh, shiko is saying she needs thirteen thousand for someone to be able to invest mm -hmm. and then start earning mm -hmm. so that person will be earning but initially they had to invest yeah mm -hmm. the same way if you think of the options that are available mm -hmm. you still need to have done even the example we gave of uh, doing a book writing yeah. a book you have to spend sleepless nights having mm -hmm. the book done. Mm -hmm. So you have to really put in the hard work yeah. before then it now starts giving you passive income. Mm -hmm. And to me that is a challenge I see because most people will then ask you, I mean, I, I thought it was going to be passive. Right. So the fact that it doesn't start off passively mm -hmm. becomes a little bit of a challenge. Right. However, it's that challenge that you really have to overcome. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I think uh, uh, most people do not have the culture of um, what we call delayed gratification. Right. 
most people want to have the pleasure now. They mm -hmm. want to see the results now. They want so, the, the effects of quail business. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. so, so when we tell people that, you know, you have to put, uh, you have to <laughs> sacrifice now yeah. so that in future mm -hmm. you are then able to earn this money passively. Mm -hmm. Because at times you could be having all the energy now. You have all the time now. Yeah. So spend it. Work very hard. Mm -hmm. Put this money aside. Yeah. Put some uh, luxuries on the side first mm -hmm. so that you 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 have long term and, and i think uh, something we must also talk about is uh that whenever you think of passive income yeah then you have to think long term mm -hmm. you have to sit down put your goals down mm -hmm. know what are your financial goals so that you then create steps on achieving the same all right so if you're able to do this then you're able to overcome some of these challenges because mm -hmm. you sat down and knew that you will need to get to a certain place and that is why you were able to sacrifice mm -hmm. something today. Mm. Um, just even to focus a little bit more, sorry to keep bringing it back obviously to agriculture, but this is your field though. Mm. Um, I have come across quite a number of NGOs, for example, who mm. are willing to finance um, startup groups you know, um, in farming. Mm. However, it got to a point that they realized that we have a culture of always wanting to be given, mm. such that people today yeah. um, are you know, either lazy yeah. about looking for the capital to mm. invest in their business. Yeah. And so they have minimal requirements mm. that you have to figure out where at least a little bit of this chunk of capital is coming from mm. before now we step in with the major assistance. Why don't you talk to us about this culture we have of, you know, thinking nipewe, nipewe, mm. donate, finance me, yeah. help me. Yeah. You know, is that the kind of right attitude to start your business with? I don't think it is. Mm. As you said, you you have to sacrifice in the beginning yeah and then now rest later mm -hmm. you have to uh, you have to go that extra mile and, and, and put some effort in in, in your investment mm -hmm. and then you'll enjoy later mm. yeah okay uh, take a look at text messages uh, let's see who's saying what Hello, Mr. Weekly. I really appreciate you because of your encouragement to us. I'm happy with the program, David Agega, uh, on Duso from Kisi Nyama Rambe. Nyama Rambe, that's my home. Area. Is it? <laughs> yes. This is a buddy from home. Oh, do you, you think so? Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. I'm Paul from Egerton University. I'm interested on what your guests have mentioned on the Beehive investment of 13K. Mm -hmm. How much will I be earning after the investment? Shiko, that's uh, for you. Uh, for 13,950, that's for one one hive, mm. you will earn 7,200 per year. That is for one hive. Mm -hmm. But what they should remember that the more the hives, mm -hmm. the more the income. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about in terms of the maintenance and the management of the hives? Is that quite costly or it's, it's manageable? It's manageable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have, uh, we have experts in the, in the ground yeah. that are doing all the work. Mm -hmm. So it's manageable. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's uh, take a short commercial break. And then when we get back, we'll be talking a little bit more about generating passive income. Also, great ideas from uh, my panelists today on what you could be picking up come this year. Uh, also, why don't you let us know if you have managed to set up something on your own and surprisingly has started working for you even without breaking a sweat. Uh, some like to describe this as making money in your sleep. How do we go about that? We'll be talking a little bit more when we get back after the break.